The other thing is room sound, so if I clap now, you might hear a bit of echo, but probably not too much because there's actually people in the room, so we're all wearing clothes which soak up the sound. So me talking in this microphone now, not all the sound from my mouth is going in this microphone. A lot of it is actually going away from the microphone and bouncing off the walls. So this means you get some kind of reverb or echo because the sound wave takes time to bounce round and round and round and come back again. Which is why if you're in a big church, the big massive church, um, it bounces around and you have big echo. So I'm basically saying if you want to record any kind of videos, do it in a small room or a room of people like this is better because we're soaking up all of our clothes. Um, or what I've done before is go in a walk-in wardrobe and put loads of clothes up and record a voiceover in there. That's actually one of the best places to record a voiceover. Um, it's not the most glamorous or rock and roll places to do it, but it actually sounds um, pretty good. So avoid any big rooms. It might look fancy, it might look nice. For example, if I did a video in here without everyone in here soaking up the sound, it wouldn't really sound too good. Um, a bedroom is actually a really great place because you've got a mattress, you've got a car, um, carpets, soaks up the sound, and curtains. So just be really aware of where you are recording because this can really make a huge difference. One of the worst places to record is a conservatory because the glass just bounces all the sound waves and then you get this big kind of reverb, echoey sound which you don't really want. So just try and be aware of where you're recording, where you're doing your videos, I would say.